We are surrounded by beautiful oceans that millions of animals call home and that sustain human health and livelihoods across the world. Lost and abandoned fishing gear, or ghost gear, kills, injures and mutilates huge numbers of animals, including some of our most iconic species such as turtles, whales, sea lions and dolphins. It is estimated that ghost gear has caused a 10% decline in fish stocks globally. So by preventing ghost gear from entering our oceans, we can also protect industry and communities that depend on our oceans for their livelihood. When you start hearing the figures, 640,000 tons of stuff deposited in the oceans every year, it starts to paint a pretty grim picture. Iron Man was found to have nine meters of net caught around his neck, and he was one of the worst cases we've seen in recent years. The nets don't break down, they just get into smaller and smaller pieces, which will eventually end up in our food chain. The Global Ghost Gear Initiative is the first initiative of its kind. It brings together 80 participants across 50 unique organisations from industry, government, fellow NGOs and academia to tackle the problem of ghost gear in our oceans through our collective impact at a global scale. The Global Ghost Gear Initiative has three fundamental aims. To improve the health of marine ecosystems, to safeguard human health and livelihoods, and to protect marine animals from harm. We work across the three R's, reduce, remove, recycle, to see a world where further gear isn't entering our oceans, but to also remove what's already there. By joining the Global Ghost Gear Initiative, you will have access to all the latest research, the newest trends, solutions and technologies, and be able to network and build on your network by connecting with like-minded peers. You can play an active role in some of our working groups or take more of an advisory role. And all of this together will help us address the problem of ghost gear globally. I hope it will come up with some practical solutions to the problem that we can take out to all kinds of stakeholders, from fishermen themselves to net producers to the industry. They feel all fishermen have got a responsibility to look after the stocks. There's got to be something left for tomorrow. That's why these projects are good. The more people involved, the greater there's a chance for our fishery to survive. I hope it will help the businesses involved promote their products and their business so that it creates an economic incentive to have Triple GI membership. I've just learned so much about what's going on worldwide. I've made really great connections to help improve the work that I'm doing at home. One of the great things about the Global Ghost Gear Initiative is that we can have multiple groups getting together on a project like this, taking that out of the water uh, where it's a danger to marine life and actually end up recycling it, taking it right out of the waste stream so it's not a danger to terrestrial life either. We hope that as many new organisations as possible, including companies and governments, will join the Global Ghost Gear Initiative to rid our oceans from the dead traps already there and prevent more fishing gear from getting in. We really believe that the solution lies in working together to ensure clean and thriving oceans for all.